Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we're going to be doing a little experimentation with some smoked salt, okay? I've been smoking salt now for the last uh, month or so, and I haven't had an opportunity to use it yet, okay? Uh, I have some post oak, uh, some cherry, and some pimento wood that we smoked inside of our uh, Kamado Joe, all right? And I haven't had a chance to use this yet. And uh, my brother swears by smoked salt. I don't use it very often. Uh, I've only had it maybe once or twice, but I figure I'm going to go ahead and try it out today. The only way to make sure that smoked salt does what it's supposed to do, and that's add a smoky flavor to your meat, is that we're going to be cooking it in something that doesn't produce any smoke, which is a roaster oven. So today we're going to be cooking a slab of baby back ribs with just uh, salt, and pepper kind of texas style okay we're gonna make two rubs we're gonna make one rub with the post oak salt and black pepper and we're gonna make another rub with just straight kosher salt and black pepper we're gonna split the baby backs in half we're gonna toss them in here we're gonna cook them up till they're finished and we're gonna see if the smoked salt actually adds a smoky flavor so hey let's go ahead and do this prep work hang around and let's see how this turns out all right, guys, so the first thing we're we'll going to put together our two seasonings, okay? I've already mixed together in this jar our black pepper and our regular kosher salt. Uh, equal parts, um, five teaspoons a piece, okay? Don't need that much seasoning because we're only doing one half of a baby back rib with it, okay? And here's five teaspoons of, of pepper, and we're going to open up our post oak smoked salt. Air it tight. Ooh, that smoke smells fantastic. I sure hope that comes over on the on the meat. So we're going to put five teaspoons of the post oak in here. There we go. Close this back up to maintain that smoky essence. All right. And let's see if we can get this in here. All right. And of course, you can tell the difference between the two because the smoked salt is actually uh, has a patina color or a brown color uh, that the smoke puts on it. So, all right. So here's our smoked post oak salt with black pepper. And here's our regular kosher salt with black pepper. Let's go ahead and get our baby back ribs ready to go. All right, guys, so here is our slab of baby back ribs. And first, we got to take our membrane off. So what I normally do is I get me a butter knife, and I find a bone in the middle somewhere. And I put the butter knife underneath the skin, uh, underneath the silver skin, riding right on top of one of the bones in the middle, and then prying up the silver skin. All right. And once I get to the other side, you might be able to do it with just your fingers. I normally take a paper towel. And the silver skin comes right off. So you don't want to cook with this. This silver skin is tough, it's chewy, and it's just not appetizing, okay? All right, so we got our, our silver skin taken off, and now we're going to cut our ribs in half. So right down the middle like so all right and here are our two halves now we're going to spray each half we'll take this glove off do a clean hand dirty hand so i have pam olive oil i've been using uh, pam olive oil as a binder lately it's just a lot easier just to spray onto my meats um, i know you can use mustard or whatever you want to use but i've been using pam olive oil and now we'll do the regular kosher salt and black pepper first. Let's get the underside. And since we're not using any other seasonings with this, I'm going to be pretty liberal with this. So all 
all right? I've already got the uh, roaster oven preheated, or it's preheating right now to 275 degrees. That's what I'm gonna roast these at. All right, so there's the regular salt. Let me wipe off my hands right quick. I guess it really doesn't matter if it's a smoked salt or not, but I'm gonna take off all the seasoning from this. And here is our black pepper and post oak smoked salt. Mm, smells really, really good. Same thing, we'll start on the back side. And we'll be pretty liberal with this one. So like I said, this is just kind of a 50-50 type salt, uh, salt and pepper rub. Um, once again, one of them is the post oak smoked salt that I did a few weeks ago. Um, and the other one is just straight kosher salt with black pepper, okay? And I can smell the smokiness from this salt already. I hope it comes through really well during the cook. All right. There we have it. All right, so we're gonna toss these in the uh, roaster oven now, okay? So let me make sure it's up to temperature. All right, it's only up at 175 degrees, so we'll give it a few more um, minutes. Uh, the reason I know that is because I have an oven thermometer inside of here measuring the internal temperature. So once we reach 250, 275, then I'll go ahead and toss these in. So hey, don't go nowhere. All right, guys, so we're back, and uh, I took a piece of a wooden skewer, cut it off, and put inside of the uh, rib piece that had the um, the smoke-infused salt, okay, so that we wouldn't get the two halves mixed up. All right, so it says that our internal temperature is at 250 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my, my oven thermometer and go ahead and place these in there, okay? Just like so. All right, we're gonna close this up. And we're gonna be cooking, now pork is uh, safe to eat at 145 degrees internal. Uh, I'm gonna be probing these ribs uh, when we get close to that temperature. So it's gonna take a few hours to get there. So I'll be checking them uh, with my InstaRead thermometer here, and then we will see exactly what we get, I'll pull them when they, I think they're tender and uh, when I think they're ready, okay? But, so hey, hang around, don't go nowhere, and let's see how this turns out. All right, guys, so uh, the internal temperature of our ribs have hit 194 degrees. I misspoke earlier, I said 155, and no, that was wrong. 194 degrees for our ribs. Uh, I haven't looked at them yet, so I'm about to pull them out now, and we'll see what they look like, okay? So let's go ahead and remove the top and get them out. All right, so here is the slab. Whoa, I almost dropped it. Here is the slab with the regular salt, and here is the slab with the smoked salt. Oh dear. Oh, they smell good, so. All right, let me turn this off and then we'll go ahead and uh, doctor them up and have a taste test. All right, guys, we're back. We'll let them rest about five or 10 minutes. They don't look too bad and they smell fantastic. Uh, the proof is gonna be in the texture and the taste, okay? Uh, if you don't wanna go outside and fire up your smoker out in the inclement weather, like we have having rain today and it's 40 something degrees, it's cold and things, like I don't mind going outside in the snow and the rain or whatever and fire up the smoker, that's just me. But if you're not an outdoor person like that, then uh, try getting yourself a roaster oven. Um, it'll definitely help cook those meals that uh, get you somewhat close to what you are, are used to uh, outside on a grill, okay? But it's really just an oven uh, that you can put anywhere, all right? If I'd have slathered these with some barbecue sauce and stuff, it probably would have been 
right on time but let's let's get back to what we're testing and that's the smoke flavor okay so the first ones we're going to taste is the ones that had just the regular kosher salt and the um, black pepper okay man they smell really good mm. and these taste great pull away from the bone great salt and pepper flavor Great texture. They're not mushy at all. They taste really good. It got some nice texture. Mmm. Well, wow, definitely an alternative if you want to cook some ribs indoors. I don't recommend cooking ribs in a crock pot or a pressure cooker because they get mushy. But this here, you retain some of the texture of the meat. Okay. So let's hit a little bit of Elijah Craig. All right, so let's go ahead and taste the one that has the smoked salt on it, okay? Mmm, that smells real good. All right, here we go. There's definitely a hint of smoke there. It's not overpowering, and it's, it's not the predominant flavor, but it's definitely in the background. Definitely taste it on that. So it's not an overpowering smoke flavor, but it's definitely there. It tastes really good. This rib with the smoke salt on it tastes better than this rib with just the plain kosher salt on it. It's got an extra dimension of flavor to it that this one just doesn't have. So, so all in all, I can say that the smoke salt uh, does give you some benefit. Uh, if you're willing to go out there and smoke your own salt, you'll save a lot of money because smoke salt costs a lot if you order it off a line. Okay. Wow. And it does taste good. Mm. Mm. Okay. Well, hey, that's it. Hey, thanks for joining us, guys. Hey, if you want to use smoked salt, it'll definitely add another dimension of flavor to your food. It's not as powerful as the smoke you would get if you actually smoked these ribs on a smoker. But there is another layer of flavor there and a slight smokiness that you get from using smoked salt that you don't get from using, of course, regular salt, okay? So, well, that's it. Hey, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and leave us a comment down below. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker. Mm. Good stuff.